With all this COVID-19 jazz going on in the world, it is a perfect time for me to catch up on some videos and some reviews that I've been meaning to make. So today we're gonna take a look at the Triple Out Design Meridian Transport Case 40 liter. Uh, this thing's heavy. Clearly I need to get some exercise. Welcome back friends. So I finally got my hands on one of my unicorn bags, <clears throat> the Triple Out Design Meridian Transport Case 40 liter. I have been trying to find one of these um, for quite some time now. I actually purchased it from a person, a uh, previous owner off from the Tad Junkies uh, group on Facebook because these are no longer available uh, or they're always sold out on the Triple Lot Designs website. So I went the route of purchasing uh, used and um, if you can, I would suggest picking one up. You may pay a pretty penny for it, but it is well worth it. So. How I have this packed out currently is with um, a scenario that I typically would travel with, which would be two to three business days. Um, I typically like to travel as light as possible. And uh, usually that means one bag carry if I'm actually on vacation or traveling for personal uh, reasons. But when I travel for work, sometimes I have to wear a suit uh, and some you know, dress clothes and things along those lines. And uh, I sometimes will have to take a roller bag, which I despise. And so I really was hoping that this bag would help me solve that problem for short two to three day trips. I think it will, I think it will. I put together a representative um, pack out of what that would look like um, and how it would fit in this bag. And I'm gonna share that with you all. Before we dive into the bag insides itself, let's go over a couple of the details of the bag. So the bag is 21 inches long, 13 inches wide, and when it's fully expanded, it is eight inches, I guess, deep. Um, it is made of VX21 sailcloth, so if you're familiar with much of the other Triple Lot Design packs, the VX is, is one of my favorite favorites. Sure, it's a little loud, but the durability of this uh, material is, is amazing. Waterproof, extremely abrasion resistant, so the shell is VX21. The inner lining is a VX03 uh, liner that is a lot louder than the exterior. Um, and if you look at my uh, Axiom uh, 24 review, you'll see the inside, what that looks like. That is also the VX3 liner. And again, exterior on most of the bags are the VX21 uh, shell. It's great. Again, it is the 40 liter. It is 72 ounces empty. The zippers are all Hypalon reinforced. They are YKK, I believe 10 and eight zippers with the standard uh, Hypalon uh, tad pulls, which are pretty great. The two handles are made out of a nylon material that feels very similar to uh, seat belts. The, it does come with a carry strap, and that carry strap is also made out of a similar material uh, like the seatbelt material, and it has a very, very cushiony, very soft, almost gel-like uh, pad to it that goes on your shoulder, so that should be very comfortable. Uh, the previous owner, it does not come with Cobra buckles, it's just standard buckles that come on this. Um, the previous owner did put Cobra buckles on here, which are great, um, so they are a really solid buckle. Uh, quick detach which is really nice uh, the bottom of the bag is padded so if you have any electronic equipment in here and you're standing it up uh, you do have some padding as well as around the uh, exterior uh, it looks like around the zippers there is some padding each side they're kind of mirrored each side has a large drop-in pocket where you could drop a bag a laptop, whatever you have on you that you may need to drop in there if you're going through a, a security checkpoint at an airport. Uh, one side of the bag does have an interior uh, zip pocket so you can put items that you need to secure in there like a phone, wallet, keys, uh, those things. Um, each end or each side 
has two zippers on each end and they both serve different purposes. One side has the removable backpack straps, or I'm sorry, the tuckable backpack straps. So you can, if you need, if your hands are full and you need to turn this into a backpack so that you can have full mobility with your hands, you can do that. I don't see myself needing that option, but uh, if I did, it is a nice thing to have. Uh, the straps are very thin. There's minimal padding in them. So um, I would um, not recommend carrying it for long periods of time, but you definitely doable. So that's one side. The other side is almost an exact mirror, but it does not have straps built into it. It basically has two compartments that overlap each other and go all the way from one side to the other. Now they do not connect. I thought that they did initially, but they do not actually connect. They're two separate compartments. Uh, I'm not sure the intended use for those, but obviously you can stash things in there, laptop, uh, things along those lines um, if you want to. You could unzip one side and drop it on top of your uh, roller luggage, but um, it's not really gonna be too comfortable to carry. I thought maybe it would go all the way through if you wanted to drop it on a roller uh, bag. But two separate packs, two separate pockets. Okay, let's take a look at the inside, but before we do that, I want to show you kind of the difference between the compartments. So it has three compartments, as you can kind of see here by the zippers, how they're spaced out. So you have one medium compartment that comes from this side, the zipper here, and it's about this thick right here. So probably about two inches, two to three inches thick, which is uh, really nice. So medium size compartment on this side, a smaller size compartment on this side, which is just about an inch thick, but of course it expands based on the material. And then you have the middle compartment, which is about four to five inches thick and that's kind of the uh, the cavernous area that really holds a lot of your um, clothing or gear that you're bringing along with you so you can see they've kind of thought out um, sizing differences uh, for the bag itself so let's go into it this first side the medium side is actually carrying a um, sport jacket uh, in a kind of a little mini garment bag. This sport jacket um, and this garment bag um, will work for a single suit for me. And that fits perfectly in there with the hanger on it on the medium size. And I, uh, I like that. I anticipate that's exactly what I'm gonna use for um, traveling for work. Now the previous owner did have on each side these expandable straps that you do have to purchase separately on Triple Out Design's website. Uh, they are typically out of stock also. But uh, if you can get your hands on this bag and these straps, you kind of got a full set. Each compartment, inner compartment, has four Hypalon reinforced buttons as well as a row of four uh, Hypalon loops on the top and bottom of each section to use for many of the TAD accessories, right? So they make um, a loop panel that you can place in here to attach Velcro backed uh, gear. I think the opposite side of that loop panel is Molly, so you can attach Molly gear in here. You can attach a CP1 uh, onto the Hypalon loops on each side. You can attach any of their pockets. Um, multiple configurations that you can use with TAD gear um, that really just make this, this flexible. And so they give you those options to uh, customize your bag for whatever your mission or travel needs may be, which is great. That being said, you're gonna spend some money on the accessories, so kind of prepare for that and think it out um, before you do that. Uh, on the topic of money, this bag, if you can find it, is gonna cost you probably more than what they originally, um, the MSRP for the bag is. So kind of keep that in mind. I was willing to pay uh, extra for the bag because I really um, have had my eye on this for a long time and I missed out on the actual um, original sale from Triple Out Design and so uh, I did it anyways. All right, into the main compartment. The main compartment that I had mentioned is quite large. Um, it is about four inches deep, it looks like. And in here, I just have an REI dual-sided uh, clothing organizer, or organizer bag, um, that I have a pair of jeans, a pair of pants, a couple shirts, as well as some shorts in here that I would work out in uh, if I was traveling. So that fits in there pretty well. And as you can tell, there's plenty of more room. I don't have this loaded out to the gills. So um, you've got a lot of flexibility in this bag. Again, some dress shoes. I typically carry socks and a belt in inside the dress shoes and those fit in there no problem. And you also see, again, the Hypalon reinforced loops on the top and the bottom as well as the Hypalon reinforced corner. So again, plenty of organizational options for you. 
Let's go into the last section here, and we will uh, show you exactly what I have in there, and that kind of will round this out. So this last and smaller section of the bag, typically, well, I guess I don't have it in there. Typically, what I would have in here would be a shirt uh, folder for dress shirts, right? So you can kind of keep those organized and in place, as well as a smaller Eagle Creek uh, clothing organizer that would allow me to put uh, boxers, socks, and some of those uh, those things in here. And so that's what I would normally have on this side. Again, you have your uh, retainment straps or retainer straps, whatever these things are called, compression straps um, that the previous owner um, had with it. This bag is in fantastic shape when I purchased it from him. Um, so I can't say enough good things about that. I can't say enough good things about the uh, the Tad Junkies website. If you're looking for a piece of Triple Up Design gear that could be your unicorn, I've found many uh, pieces of gear on their website. As you can tell, it can compress. It's fairly flat, so if you're not using it and you need to store it, um, it does compress flat. It doesn't have compression properties on the outside if you were carrying this kind of minimally. But um, that's kind of it. That's the walk around of the bag. And uh, let's go ahead and wrap this, this up. There you have it, the venerable Meridian Transport Case 40 liter by Triple Lock Design. I was trying to get my hands on that forever, and I'm glad I was patient and waited. That is going to be a staple in my travel equipment, and I'm really hoping to do some more personal travel here in the near future, and that is gonna come in really handy. So, I'm gonna ramble for a minute or two, like I always do at the end of one of these videos. First, if you like the videos that I'm putting out there, please consider giving me a like. If you want to subscribe, that would be awesome. I'm not going to say smash the like because I almost feel like that's a little ridiculous even though I just said it. But press, click the like if you like the video. Uh, if you have any comments and you're interested in me reviewing any equipment that is similar in line with what I have going on in the channel, typically drop me a line, uh, shoot me a message and let me know if it's something you're interested in and maybe I can get my hands on it and uh, do you know just a general user review like I do with everything. If you have any uh, comments in general with constructive criticism, even if it's not constructive, go ahead and leave me that because nobody's perfect. I am far from perfect and uh, I always have room to improve and I, and I want to improve and I'm going to continue doing these videos because I like them. Uh, and lastly, everything that's going on in the world right now, obviously I'm socially distancing. I hope you all are too. Try to get this thing under control. Be kind to your neighbors, be kind to each other, help each other out, and um, you know, leave some TP for other people because once that stuff runs out, it's gonna be disastrous. All right, thanks for tuning in. I will see you all next time. Bye.